pesticides are systems that are used to kill the pests, which eat crops. Do you know, pesticides are insoluble in water and non-biodegradable. Instead of undergoing decomposition, they will linger in the soil for decades. Health effects include cancer, infertility, and dizziness. To prevent further impact, people came up with an idea of a new agricultural technology called hydroponics. Hydroponics is the cultivation of plants without using soil. In fact, hydroponics is growing plants in nutrient solution. We all know that plants sustain themselves by a process called photosynthesis. We may think that the plants need soil to supply them with water and nutrients, but actually we can replace the soil with water. Hydroponics uses mineral nutrient solution in an aqua solvent. Hydroponics provides all the nutrients in the water tailored to the needs of the particular plant being grown. They allow you to control exactly how much nutrients the plants will absorb. pH levels can also be monitored and adjusted. In a highly customized and controlled environment, plant growth accelerates. If we go further into it, you may come across the aquaponics system, which combines aquaculture and hydroponics in one complete system. In an aquaponics system, freshwater fish in fish tanks carry out life processes. The ammonia produced by fish, fish waste, and fish food cause the water to become toxic for the fish. Here, the biofilter with specific microorganisms converts the ammonia into nitrate, which is a beneficial nutrient for plant growth. The plants in the hydroponic subsystem use up nutrients in the water from the fish tanks, then water is cleaned and oxygenated, then pumped to the aquaculture vessels into fish tanks again. This forms a complete and continuous cycle of water where both the plants and the aquatic creatures live together in a mutually beneficial way. Hydroponics and aquaponics system provide complete control over the growing climate because the farmer has the ability to adjust temperature, light intensity, humidity according to the needs of the plants. Besides, hydroponics requires far less space than plants grown in soil. Combined with vertical farming techniques, they can use up 99% fewer lands than typical farming techniques. It is because the roots of the hydroponic plants do not have to spread out and dip into the soil to search for nutrients and water, as they are directly supplied by the nutrient solutions. In a nutshell, we could protect our environment through hydroponic and aquaponic farming systems. The government should enhance these types of farming techniques which enable us to enjoy organic foods and protect the environment. Together, we build a better environment through science.